If you have a MacBook and you want to write the Esperanto alphabet using your computer, let me show you how. Hi, my name's Becky from Keep It Simple Esperanto. When I started learning Esperanto, I wanted to be able to write the letters with the accents over the top. To start with, I was using the X system. You can also use the H system. They're all perfectly understandable, but for me, I prefer to be able to write the letters properly with the little hats on them because they look cute. But also because I think it's more professional and for me it's a bit more understandable having the different letters rather than looking at the X system or the H system and trying to figure out if the H is an Esperanto H or if we're just using the H system. Of course there's nothing wrong with using those systems if that's what you prefer, that's fine, but this video is going to show you how to write the Esperanto letters with your MacBook with the little accents, the hats over the top of them. So how do we install the keyboard? Firstly, click on the Apple, click on System Preferences. We'll change the keyboard, so click on Keyboard. Go to Input Sources. I'm British, therefore my keyboard is British, but we want to change it. So click on the plus to add another language. You can see here, if we search for a keyboard, an Esperanto keyboard doesn't exist. You should see either US Extended or, uh, like here, ABC Extended. Choose US Extended or ABC Extended and add. I don't know why, but um, if you have two keyboards, you can't, uh, you can't add the hats. Therefore, we have to get rid of the British keyboard. To do that, choose the British keyboard or whatever other keyboard you have and click on the minus. Now you can use the hats. So when you type, how do you use the hats? How do you actually put the hats on the letters? To put a hat on a letter, press and hold option and press the number six. The hat appears and you can let go of the keyboard. Afterwards, choose the letter on which you want the hat to appear. For example, uh, the letter C and press C. That works for all of the letters that have hats, the, the uh, sort of triangular hats. Cho, jo, kho, jo, and sho. To be able to do the wo, so that's the, the little almost U shape, the little crescent above the U, we need to do something slightly different. Press, option, and B. Let go of the keyboard and then press U. Now we can use what? So now you can use your MacBook to write the Esperanto letters. Do you have another method that's different to this that still works? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, thank you for leaving a like and thank you so much for subscribing. I'll see you next time. Tschüss, la